Good Arizona day. So I'm starting a roof inspection. I first start down here. I look at the rake and eaves of your home. Any signs of roof failure, then I get up on your roof and get a better look at your roof. Let's start around here and show you what I'm looking at. Starting off right off the bat, your roof doesn't have any bird stop, which is a code requirement for uh, new roofs. So uh, when you do get a new roof, you're going to be required to have bird stop in here. And what that does is prevents any critters or anything getting up under your tile. That's going to be need something that you're going to need. Looking up under here, first signs of any type of roof failure is right through there. You can see a little bit of evidence of water getting under your roof. Nothing too serious right here, but let's keep looking and see what I find. Second spot right here showing some evidence of roof failure. If you look right through there, look right through there, there's some evidence of that, that browning of water getting onto your uh, fascia wood, showing some signs of deterioration. So just something to keep note, let's keep looking. Okay, so this is where you're having that leak, approximately near this window. If you look right there, right there, there's evidence of water damage onto the wood right there. Looking back here, not seeing too much on the plywood itself until I come right through here. That's evidence of deterioration of the plywood, plus something, something is growing on it, not sure what. Let's keep going and see what else we can find. Right above your door here, there's some evidence of water getting onto your fascia. Just some uh, uh, dry rot right there. Uh, just something to be concerned about, showing signs of water getting on your fascia. Okay, so now that I've checked out your eaves and your rake of your home, now let me give a look up here. Let's find the area where you're having the leak at, and then let's look at another sample spot and look at the overall health of your roof. Let me show you what I'm looking at. Over on the southwestern corner of your roof, right there, there's a big mortar spot that needs to be repaired. Right up there, same thing. Let's keep going. You have a cracked tile right over there. There's a cracked tile down there. Let me show you what I'm looking at. Okay, so this is above where you're having your leak in your bedroom. Uh, right from this uh, chimney, go straight down. See here, this is your underlayment of your roof. If you look at it, it looks very uh, full of debris and lots of deterioration. But looking closely, especially right here, this is exposed plywood. This is your roof decking. Your underlayment has completely failed here and it just has exposed wood. Water's gonna be able to flow right through here, get through that crack and get into your roof. This section of roof is gonna to need to be repaired. I'm gonna check a few more spots on here for you to get a good idea of how your overall health on this slope of the roof is, but definitely gonna to need to repair right through here. Okay, so to get a full scope on how big this leak is, I wanted to get a better idea of how your uh, western side of your slope is looking so I uncovered a few other spots. So let me show you what I'm seeing. Right there's the original spot I checked out a little bit further down that way right here as well as right here starting on this side closest to your backyard this part looks wear weathered uh, and then coming up on age needing to replacement but I'm not seeing evidence that there's active leaks right to this point. However if I come over just about three feet That is an active leak right there. You can see the wood is exposed right there. The wood's exposed, but right here, it's exposed wood, but also the wood is very soft. That wood's gonna need to be replaced as well. That goes next to the other spot I already had uncovered right here. It has more exposed wood. So that's another leak right there that's exposed wood. So this section so far from over here up to over there needs to be replaced. But if going further over here to check, see how far this deterioration goes. Right here, the underlayment's looking okay. This is an acceptable look for the age of the underlayment. So it's gonna be my recommendation that we have everything from here over replaced to make sure that we're covering all of this section of roof that needs to be taken care of. Coming right up here around your chimney, looks like they try to use mortar to seal up around here. Um, but looks like you are mentioning you're having some bird problems. Looks like you're getting some birds chipping right through here, through the stucco here. Highly recommend getting a pest control person to come in here. Maybe a stucco person come in and reseal that up, but just let you know. I'm looking right over here. Okay, so this is the eastern facing slope. So it's not going to get as much rain and direct sunlight on this side of it. But you can see that you're still seeing quite a lot of debris under here. You don't have bird stops, so that makes sense where you're getting more debris than normal. It's not curling as bad on this side as you're seeing the deterioration on that side. So this side might be a little bit better off than the other side. Let's keep going. I'll put all that in a proposal and I'll send it your way.